Let's begin today's Thursday show. Virginia-based polling firm wanting to gauge the impact of current events on couples finds that among Americans married or in a relationship, nearly one quarter surveyed say they've disagreed or argued about politics. You got to learn to say, you right, I'm sorry. Overall, life expectancy in the U.S. is about 76.7 years for men, 81.5 years for women. She married an old guy for his money and now he won't die. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Announced yesterday, Val Kilmer will star opposite Tom Cruise in the Top Gun sequel, Top Gun Maverick. Kilmer will join Cruise in the sequel to the 1986 action blockbuster in which Cruise's aviator Pete Maverick Mitchell is now a mentor to a new generation of U.S. Navy fighter pilots. Kilmer played Tom Iceman Kazansky and Cruise's chief rival in the original film. Top Gun Maverick will hit theaters July 12th, 2019. Yesterday on NBC's Today, actress Mira Sorvino talked about Harvey Weinstein facing charges. This was a secret that you held for a long, long time. You know, a lot of courage to speak out. The funny thing is, at the time it happened, I told everyone I knew, Mm -hmm. and a lot of people will tell you that. Um, All these people wrote to me online. I remember you telling me about that, Quentin Tarantino. Um... Uh, corroborated that I told him about it right away that September. Um, He said it in the New York Times article. So I told everyone I knew, no one said, hey, this is sexual harassment. You You should go to the authorities. You have a case. You should go to the police. Maybe it's assault. No one said anything like that. Everyone was just kind of comforting about it. And I didn't really understand the law. And I didn't I didn't think I was important enough to make a big deal over, so I just kind of tried to put it to the side and keep working and and go on about my life. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people felt that way, and none of us compared notes. I only knew of one other person. Were you shocked when you saw how many I could not believe it. Uh, I could not believe how many people. And if we had known about each other then, there would have been, oh, boy. (laughs) That's crazy. I'm sorry. It's overwhelming when you see it. I think we we would have found strength in numbers and we would have done something a lot sooner. But I only knew of one other person, Sophie Dix, um, who told me her story a little while after mine did. uh, Mine occurred. But but I did try and do something about it at the time. I even spoke to somebody at Miramax about it. And nothing happened, so it kind of went away, and I tried to go on with my life. It's time for Things Kids Learn from Cartoons. Peter, I think what everyone's saying is that you've got dad breath. What the hell's dad breath? You know, dad breath. Guys get older, they stop paying attention to hygiene, their bodies are changing. It's just a fact that at a certain age, men start to rot from the inside out. That's it for Things Kids Learn from Cartoons. Donald Trump said Canadians, not the British, burned the White House down in 1812. I'm not sure if he's right about that. You know, we should ask somebody who was there. Quick, call Larry King. Sure, Canada burned down the White House in the War of 1812, but don't forget they also gave America the Beatles. French President Emmanuel Macron described his conversations with Donald Trump as like sausage. When asked to explain, Macron said, the guy talks about sausage all the time. What is there to explain? Word is Dennis Rodman will attend the Trump summit in Singapore and is expected to provide a sense of normalcy there. Rudy Giuliani says Stormy Daniels has no credibility because of what she does for a living. Credibility? Giuliani is a f- Lawyer. The family of the late Chris Farley has filed a lawsuit against a bicycle company for naming its new fat tire the Farley. It replaced the Roseanne, which had a tendency to suddenly suffer late night blowouts. Meanwhile, many fans have started an online petition urging ABC to continue the show Roseanne without Roseanne. In a related story, Frank D'Angelo has started a similar petition about the show The Reynolds Report here on NSS. A plane in Holland was forced to make an emergency landing after a passenger's body odor was so bad that it caused others to vomit and faint. Whoa, you know it's bad when people are going into the airplane bathroom for some fresh air. 
A dude who works at the White House was arrested there on an outstanding warrant of attempted murder. Yeah, he showed up for work early on that day to make sure he'd be the next in line for a presidential pardon. Chip and Joanna Gaines have been fined by the EPA for unsafe practices while removing lead paint from homes. The couple has to fork over $40,000 in fines and redo EPA Chief Scott Pruitt's house for free. Actor Jerry Marin, the last surviving munchkin from the Wizard of Oz movie, has passed away at the age of 98. After retiring from the screen, he spent the remainder of his life performing charitable work mainly for the Lollipop Guild. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Hey, are you going to go see that Ocean's 8 movie? I feel kind of silly paying money for a ticket to see a story about thieves. I feel like I should sneak into the movie. Hey, chick flicks, nobody gives a f***. A no gays allowed sign has popped up in a hardware store in Tennessee. Now where will they go to buy a hammer to throw through the window of a wedding cake shop? Hey, homophobic business owners, nobody gives a f***. And KFC has a new vegetarian chicken sandwich for people that would rather wonder what kind of vegetables they're eating than what kind of meat they're eating. Hey, Colonel Sanders, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, Tuesdays and Thursdays. NSS Live.